About 640,000 years ago, the Earth witnessed one of the largest supermassive volcanic eruption, covering a distance of over 1,000 square kilometers. It caused great devastation in the Earth's atmosphere, as volcanic ash and debris, which came out of the volcano, filled the entire atmosphere and blocked sunlight penetration for months, and even years, destroying a great proportion of plants and animal species especially in the North American continent. This eruption was none other, but the Yellowstone Volcano. Throughout history, the Yellowstone Volcano has been a threat to humanity and all species on Earth. It is the largest volcano in the entire North American continent and the second most active volcano in the world after the Kilauea Volcano in the Hawaii Islands. It's located in Wyoming State, northwest of United States. Since the last supermassive eruption recorded in this zone 640,000 years ago, there have been several minor volcanic eruptions that has been recorded in the Yellowstone region, causing more or fewer damages to the nearby terrain. However, the Yellowstone is a touristic site, which attracts thousands of tourists from all over the world each year, due to its beautiful landscape and ecosystem. But recently, the Yellowstone Park has been shut down and closed from tourism. This is due to the sudden change in natural activities in the region, like, changing chemical composition of nearby streams which makes it dangerous for animals to drink from, caused by an increase in molten materials called magma. The activities of these magma are seen from a caldera located in the Yellowstone National Park. This caldera was formed 640,000 years ago as a result of an increase in molten materials, which caused the land surface to explode, extending thousands of miles, forming a caldera of permanent hot magma. Despite all these, the magma only remains in the caldera chamber, and it is free from contaminating nearby streams and rivers. According to experts, it only contaminates nearby streams if the magma quantity increases, which would latter increase the temperature as a result of compression, thereby forcing the molten magma to flow out of the caldera. The effect would be seen as nearby freshwater species in the streams and rivers would take in the toxic materials released from this caldera, contaminating the water, causing death and suffocation. What's dangerous is, if humans have to drink from this water, it'll cause lungs disease which makes it difficult for breathing. And if proper care is not taken, it might lead to death. Other activities which make scientists panic is the recent increase in seismic activities and earthquake in this region since the last three decades. According to experts, an increase in seismic activities in an active volcano region shows there's a prompt volcanic signal caused by increasing magma composition which easily causes trembling as a result of heavy thermal energy within the Earth crust, leading to heavy trembling and explosion of land surface caused by friction. The Yellowstone volcano has been one of scientists' greatest concerns and research area, due to its unpredictable nature and planet's destroyer. Just like the San Andreas Fault in California, the Yellowstone volcano stands as a major threat to the economies of both United States and Canada. However, in 2014, the United States Geological Survey team released a report which said, there's a 1 in 730 chances of a major eruption to occur in the next 100 years. This might seem to be a low probability, but however, it is still significant as the seismic activities of these zone is increasing in less than no time. This has kept scientists worried. One of the most seismic activity recorded in this zone is the uplifting of landmasses near the town of West Yellowstone, Montana, which increases about 4 feet per year while other areas increase by 2 centimeters. These activities shows a prompt and sudden volcanic eruption, accompanied with seismic activities beneath the Earth's surface in the Yellowstone. Apart from this, over 48,000 earthquakes have been recorded in the Yellowstone region since the last three decades, doubling its activity since 2014. With one of the major earthquakes which occurred at the hillside of Madison River in 1959, with a magnitude of 7.3. For this reason, the United States government has put in surveillance, experts, and geological agencies to investigate this place. But the question still goes. Is the Yellowstone volcano going to blow up anytime soon? Well, before we proceed, if you're enjoying this video, just hit a thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel. According to experts, there's a low probability of any prompt major volcanic eruption in this region for the next 100 years. But due to the recent increase in the volume of volcanic activity signs, it shows the probability of any major eruption is not certain. This means, it can happen anytime soon, no matter its low probability. And there is to no doubt, the next event of volcanic eruption in the Yellowstone region, would be as massive or even more than the last major eruption that took place 640,000 years ago. This can be seen with respect to the changes of seismic activities in the region, changes in chemical composition of nearby rivers, and the outflow of magma from the Yellowstone caldera. 
The question is, how massive could this volcanic event be, if it were to happen? Well, the uplifting of landmasses in the zone might end up exploding, causing magma to leave its chamber, flowing out of the surface as lava. The effect can be? About some kilometers of landmasses would be chopped off, due to heavy magma to lava explosion which might be seen everywhere including space, releasing a very toxic gas that could occupy the entire Earth's atmosphere for months or even years, causing the whole North American continent to be under permanent darkness for months, and change in global climate due to changes in air components. The entire Earth would face deceased outbreaks and lungs problems, much more dangerous than that experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic. It would be worse in the United States and Canada as their air would be totally breathless for months, causing a lot of deaths. At this point, you'll prefer leaving in water, so as to avoid air pollution. But however, water won't be the solution, since most of the water bodies would be toxicated caused by high magmatic chemical compounds. Due to this high land mass consumption, it might create a new Yellowstone caldera, bigger than the one created 640,000 years ago, which is 45 miles wide and 2,000 feet deep. This is about half the distance between Toronto and Hamilton, Ontario. Ashes released from the volcano as a result of combustion will cover sunlight penetration for months, thereby making some areas like the polar regions to experience global warming, while areas far from the volcano experiences extreme cold. More to that, the United States and Canada would be experiencing unceasing global warming. In this type of situation, if anyone has an escape plan by then, it won't be option to take a flight, since the hot lava flow reaches a height above the clouds, traveling in thousands of kilometers. The best option at this point is? To travel through a submarine to more safer continents like Africa, Australia, and Asia. Despite so, it would take quite some time for any survivor to regain their health, since it'll be devastating such that, the world will look like an alien planet or a zombie apocalyptic world that is set on fire. According to the United States Geological Survey, the damages which can be caused by Yellowstone Volcano is far much devastating than that which can be caused by the San Andreas Fault in California. Since the Yellowstone Volcano would affect the entire world, compared San Andreas Fault disasters which can only affect the California state. But nonetheless, it is devastating. For this reason, the United States government has employed search teams all over the country in different universities like, the University of Utah, the University of Wyoming, and Montana State University, which are all monitoring the Yellowstone volcano activities. The question so many people ask is, how could a massive volcano of such magnitude be found in this region? Well, the Yellowstone volcano is located at the edge of two great plate margins in the world. Just like the San Andreas Fault which is caused as a result of the bypassing of the Pacific and North American Plate, the Yellowstone Volcano is also caused by the bypassing of these two plates, where land masses were forced to be lifted as a result of the movement of lava underneath the Earth's surface. The movement of this magma is caused by the scrubbing of these two plates at their margin, causing the underneath rocks to be heated, forming molten hot material called magma. According to researchers and experts, the highest volcanic eruption we could expect in the Yellowstone region is a hydrothermal eruption, which means the activities of the volcano won't be that great for the next 100 years. However, since the last supermassive eruption 640,000 years ago, there have been about 50 of these hydrothermal eruptions within the region, with less devastating impact. The question still goes, should we worry? The answer is, yes. But what could we do if this volcano was to erupt? Well, scientists and geoscientists have proposed some measures that should be taken when the signs are high. Some of which include, preparing for evacuation plan. In this case, measures such as evacuating people from a building, or other location in the event of an emergency. These are measures designed to ensure the safety of everyone in the building and to ensure minimal risk of injury or death. Some of these plans would include, designing evacuation routes for each area of the building where evacuees can gather, instruction on how to close doors and windows, shut off light during trembling, instruction on how to handle hazardous materials, and a system for communicating with evacuees and emergency responders. However, these evacuation plans should be reviewed and updated regularly, to ensure that they are current and accurate. They should also be communicated to employees and visitors, so that everyone knows what to do during an emergency event alert. It is important to follow the evacuation plan during an emergency, and to listen to instructions if unsure of what to do. It should ensure calmness. Other steps that can be taken in order to prepare for a potential eruption should include, educating the population about hazardous damages and degree of the magnetic of hazardous events. It is however important for the whole world to know that, damages that can be caused by the Yellowstone is more likely to affect the entire globe. 
More to that, improving monitoring, we can help to mitigate the impact of Yellowstone eruption and save lives. With this, it would be easier to predict, harness, and secure risk of life in order to avoid what happened in the Mount St. Helens in 1980, which was one of the most dangerous volcanic activities ever recorded in human history, with about 57 deaths. The Mount St. Helens eruption was a significant event in the history of volcanology. Since it was the first time a major eruption was recorded on film, and provided scientists with a wealth of data about the behaviors of heavy volcanoes. One of the most important lessons learned from the Mount St. Helens was monitoring volcanoes for signs activities. This is because in the years before of the eruption, scientists had been monitoring the Mount St. Helens for signs of unrest. They noticed the mountain was swelling like it is happening now in the Yellowstone. They also realized the magma chamber was rising, accompanied with increasing seismic activities, like a 5.1 magnitude earthquake that triggered a massive landslide, causing the north face of the mountain to collapse, creating a large crater which released a massive amount of ashes and debris into the atmosphere. This information allowed scientists to predict an imminent eruption was to happen. So they were able to evacuate the area in time and prevent loss of lives. This Mount St. Helens, located in the Cascade Range of the Pacific Northwest in the southwestern Washington state, had made scientists and geoscientists to be kinned in predicting and monitoring volcanic activities in most of the major volcanoes. However, the effects that can be caused by Yellowstone volcano might be thousand times devastating than that which was caused by the Mount St. Helens in the 1980s. This is why experts are employed in order to predict the future of this volcano. However, it is important to note that, the Yellowstone volcano still remains a threat to humanity, and for this reason, monitoring and evacuation plans needs to be updated all the time. But did you know? You can as well monitor the activities of the Yellowstone volcano even if you're 10,000 miles away with your telescope? This will help you evacuate the region if you found out things are worse than now. You can check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, you can click the next video on your screen.